Today I'm going to be doing a cost of living video. I'm going to 360 and We're going to go in and look at some vegetables, some meat. Broccoli, 180 grams. Moving on to the milk now, we've got a big range of fresh milk of, let's say, 250 grams of beef. Finally, it's started to rain. It's like 83, 84% humidity. I've been dripping all morning, so we've got a little bit of respite now. Today, I'm going to be doing a cost of living video. I'm going to be talking through the price of some food at my local supermarket. Now, some, of course, you've got many different supermarkets on offer, but my local one is called PX Mart. There's also Care4, and of course, there's Costco and a few of us, but it's good for people to actually see what they're buying instead of reading online how much some bananas are without actually seeing it instead of visualizing it you can see what we're buying but first a quick trip to my favorite brunch place i'm going to show you what i'm going to eat before we do the food shop let's go That was a brunch finished with. Now we're at the entrance of PX Mart. We're gonna go in and look at some vegetables, some meat, maybe some foreign based food as well, some wine, some alcohol, just so you can get an idea if you are planning on trip to Taiwei. <laughs> if you're planning on a trip to Taipei, just so you have a good visual idea and comparison as well. Remember, this is Taipei or we're in New Taipei City. Depending where you are in Taipei, prices will slightly differ. The same as in the rest of the country, further down south, it might be a little bit cheaper as well. Let's go and have a look. Okay, first thing we've got are some apples. Now, normally apples are very expensive, okay? Here, 100 NT normally, which is around £2.50. Now they're on offer. The yellow sticker is offer. I like that. Still good quality, nothing wrong with them. Like in the UK, these are Granny Smiths for 60. 60 NT around £1.50, great. So normally 100 NT around £2.50 for four, which is quite expensive. Then here, the red ones here, you got three, four, five, you got six for around 90 NT, okay? So that gives you a good idea about the apples. Normally there's a better range of bananas. I like them here because they're around one pound, four or five, uh, but I'm gonna have to choose from here this time. So here are 49 NT, so around one pound 10. Oh, there's a mosquito in this one, so we won't be taking that. Or four for 49, so one pound 10 for about four, and it's about 600 grams worth. Of one of the great things about Taiwan is the choice and the variety of fruit. Here you've got a pineapple, for just under £2.50. Obviously, you're going to have to cut that out yourself, or you've got one here for 75 NT, which is around £1.60, £1.70. Here we've got some big papaya uh, for just over £1.20, 58 NT, okay? So, good choice, as you can see. And this is what I like here, the little sets. We've got some dragon fruit, which is pretty bland and boring flavour, but I like it. You've got mango here, the orange one. You've got some Bala, oh, Bala is the Chinese for guava, and then you've got some tomatoes, which is quite random, okay? So this box here is 80 NT, so we're looking at about two pound. Kiwis, 90 NT, so around two pound 10, okay? Cherries and strawberries, expensive, 165 NT, so we're looking just under five pound, around four pound 80 here for some cherries. Getting on to the vegetables, here you can get your green vegetables, 250 grams worth, leaved vegetables, okay, for about 50p, which isn't too bad at all. So 250 grams worth, not bad, 50p's worth. Vegetable is pretty cheap. Oh, look, lettuce, 50p, uh, you've got some broccoli. Broccoli, broccoli, 180 grams, uh, you're looking around 
one pound ten p, one pound fifteen, one pound twenty. Okay, for that bit of broccoli. Do a little pack. Things like pumpkin. So pumpkin is forty nt. So one pound here. Thing with carrots. So carrots normally again is forty nt. So a pound. And then you've got all uh, tomatoes, carrots as well. So tomatoes for three tomatoes here, thirty eight nt, just under one pound. Looking at peppers, you're looking at three peppers for 88 NT, 90 NT. So just over two pound peppers can be quite pricey. Okay, some vegetables and fruit are pricier here than in your Western country. I'm talking about UK, maybe the States as well. Mushrooms, uh, 200 grams of mushrooms for 88 NT. So just over two pound there. Moving on to the milk now, you've got a big range of fresh milk. Can be quite expensive. Here you've got uh, semi-skinned for uh, 936 mil uh, for 86 nt so around two pound ten here uh, let's go to some soya milk if you like your soya milk soya milk you can get 936 milliliters for under a pound so 32 nt it's around 80 85 pence all of a smoothie yogurts one pound fifty for a big 920 milliliter uh, kind of strawberry shaped strawberry yogurt. So £1.50, 60 NT, not bad at all. And the meat section, let's take a look. Okay, normally they have Australian New Zealand beef. Prime example of, let's say, 250 grams of beef is 224, so five uh, NT, so £5.50. Here we go here. But depending when you can come, Depending when you come, you can get some on offer. Here you go, you've got some uh, New Zealand beef strips here. Uh, 186 grams worth for £2.50, okay? Normal price is around £3. £2.50, not bad at all. There's a lot of pork, uh, a lot of minced pork as well, minced beef. We've got pork chops here. Pork chops here, two pork chops, 250 grams for £2.50. And we can have some pork strips here, which is basically used for hot pot, but I use it to fry as well. Uh, this will set you back almost three pound, 135 NT for 200 grams. Now the Taiwanese do like a lot of bone, okay? So you, if you want some bone, you can have some bone for about one pound 10 P, 49 NT. They use that for soup and hot pot. What I like, I like some big pieces of pork, you can get 250 grams worth for uh, around £2.60, £2.70, okay, so 91 NT. And you can get 250 grams of uh, chicken pieces or just chicken for 80 NT, so £2.50. I'm going to get a couple of them and I'm going to get this big slab of pork, 250 grams for 78 NT, so under £2.50, not bad. I, not my favourite whatsoever, but we've got a load of fish, a load of seafood here. So here we've got some uh, tuna steak. So we've got tuna steak for 270 NT, uh, just over £5 here. Uh, one and offer for £2.50 here. So this here is 320 grams worth for £5.20. You can see all the different fish here. You've got make. Make is normally £2.50 for 150 grams. And here you've got all your squid. Uh, if you want a squid, you can get 220 grams of squid for 128 NT, which obviously not one of my favorite aisles here. Uh, you can get six bottles of Corona for 260 NT, which is about £6.50. You can then get a big bottle of Tiger, 48 NT, which is just over £1.10 for a big bottle, that's 600, uh, 660 millilitres. And then you can get cans of beer, three small cans of Taiwan beer for 160 NT, so it's around £4 a pack. Tuna, we've got a, a pack of three with a light, light tuna in oil, which is 150 NT, so we're looking around £4.20 there for three cans of 185 grams. Okay. You've got a range of water, no oil, with oil, olive oil, and then all your sauces, everything here. For example, one pack of sauce for honey garlic spare ribs. This is my favorite, 33 NT for a pack. So around, so around 85, 90 P just for one pack. You've got all your seasonings. 
All your different seasonings are 40 NT, around one pound for each one. Different spices, different salts, different peppers. 900 milliliters of orange juice, 73 NT, under two pounds. So we're looking at around one pound 80, one pound 85. Recently, we had an egg shortage. We had to get a whole load of new eggs come in from uh, abroad, and then the chickens had to then the chickens had to produce the eggs. But now the eggs are back. Okay, I've got uh, here. I've got 10, 10 eggs for sixty-eight, so about one pound uh, one pound sixty for ten eggs. There's a range of more expensive ones for two pound, two pound fifty for ten eggs, one pound fifty for ten eggs. So it's pretty, pretty good price if you ask me. If you're an ice cream fan, you can get big tubs of ice cream for two pound fifty, so around eighty NT for a four hundred and eighty gram tub. Uh, massive selection. There's always a good selection. Okay, up to you, at your own risk. If you want some spaghetti, we've got 250 grams of spaghetti here for 28 NT, which is around uh, around 60 pence, 60 p in good old English. Okay, you got different kinds of spaghetti here. Uh, you got some shells, some shells. I don't know the technical name. San Remo. You got San Remo for 59 NT, so about one pound fifty, and that is for 500 grams, one pound fifty. The sauce tends the sauce tends to be a little bit expensive because some of them are foreign sauces. For example, we've got 400 grams here of de secco. De secco, I think that's what it is. 117 NT for around two pounds seventy. Okay, you've got bigger, cheaper jars. I tried this; it's not very nice. Okay, uh, 737 grams of meat, Italian sauce, 193 NT, so it's around two pound twenty. Not bad one thing which is probably more expensive here is a cereal the boxes are tiny so if you're from america you're probably not going to like this very much let's look at special k 205 grams this little box of 205 grams is going to cost you 99 nt okay we're looking around 2 pound 50. i'm going to look at some cocoa crunch so this cocoa crunch whatever that is it's 300 grams worth it's going to be about two pounds 70 okay there you go there's your cereals they do have oatmeal this is more like it 800 grams of instant whole oats okay quaker 119 a pound around two pounds 60. For all you potato chip lovers, or if you're English, British, crisp, crisp lovers, okay, we've got an 85 gram of Lay's for one pound. We have all different flavors, got some Japanese kind, Taiwanese kind, okay. Some are 50p, 24nt, and some are mainly 40nt, one pound. It does vary in price depending on the brand. You've got some bigger Lay's here for 230 grams which is around one pound fifty. 420 me meters, 420 milliliters of hardened dark. So it's gonna cost you around seven pound thirty. Up to you. A bowl of yellow tail Shiraz from Australia. You're looking around 360 NT, okay? So that's about eight pounds 60 for a bottle of Shiraz. Mason Castell Merlot for 329 NT. So we're looking around seven pounds 50. You've got Sauvignon for 359 NT. So you're looking around eight pound here. And then you can get some a little bit more pricey, okay? So here we've got some Pinot Noir for 1,149, so that's going to be around 27, 27 pound 50 here. If you do want to be a little bit experimental, you can go for some local white wine, which is called Gaoyang. Now, it's not the white wine as we know it. This is like gasoline, like petrol. So some of them are 58%, some of them are 75%. You can get a small bottle here for around, for about four pound, okay, 170, 176 NT. You can get bigger bottles if you really want to, if you really must. 
Also, you can get an absolute vodka here. So 500ml absolute vodka for about £10. Eat a gin like this, just like back home, okay? £11 a bottle. Remember this in the supermarket, if you get it from a 7-Eleven or Family Mart, it'll be a little bit more pricey. And for all of you who like some Jaeger bombs, you've got 699 MP for a bottle of Jaeger, okay? So that's going to be costing you uh, getting on for £20, okay? so we're looking at about £18 there. show you what I just bought so I just spent 400 405 NT including one bag okay so 400 NT which is around 10 pound 50 I'm going to show you what I got 10 eggs 250 grams of pork 250 grams of chicken two lots of vegetable Four apples, four bananas, and some spaghetti. And in true Taiwan style, the weather has changed already and the sunshine is out, which is why I always put my sunglasses on my bald head ready for the change. Let's get back inside. I'm going to tell you about the bread. Finally got home. Well, not home yet in my uh, reception of the apartment. Uh, got two bottles of water. Obviously in Taiwan, you can't drink the tap water. so. Normally in Family Mart, they do an offer. You can get a two litre bottle and a two litre bottle for 50 NT, which is about £1.20. Not a bad price whatsoever. And then the reason why I don't buy my bread from any of the supermarkets, I get mine from Family Mart. So here you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got eight slices and this is for 49 NT. So we're talking about £1.20, but this is the closest to UK based wholemeal bread you'll get out here. It's not added sugar, not sweet, actual whole meal, and it's the best I've had 10 years in Taiwan, okay? Family Mart, £1.20, well worth it. I'm off to cook, see you later.